nervous moments there with with, with the announcement from the uh, oh not really not really um, yeah it's a changing environment um, and yeah we're just going to have to as an AFL industry we're just going to have to be fluid and and move with the, with what the government's telling us. Um, yeah, and really that's that's with the AFL. My job is to make sure our players are really focused on the job at hand. I don't think our game against Port Adelaide is affected at this stage, so um, we need to make sure we focus on what Port Adelaide are going to bring and what we need to do. Do you address it with your players at all? Did you, you mention it at all or just think that they want Just briefly, um, just mention that looks like our game's going to go ahead um, exactly the same situation as what we were presented with when the fixture came out um, and we need to focus. So there's a lot of noise floating around at the moment, a lot of what-ifs. Uh, we need to make sure our head's in the game and in our preparation. You leaving tomorrow or today? Or when no, we leave Saturday morning. Saturday. So, yeah, obviously travel between Adelaide and Perth is, or, yeah, South Australia and WA is, is um, normal at the moment. Is there any apprehension, Justin, about <laughs> travelling? in this environment, <clears throat> that things can change so quickly? Oh, not really. No, this situation's been here for 18 months now. Um, it hasn't really changed from our point of view. There's all, we've always taken the most precautions we can when we travel, that won't change. Um, you know, we've just come back from a you know, 10, 11 day stint on the road ourselves. So yeah, we'll, we'll be ready for anything. Is Tabernacle going to be fit? Is he going to have enough time to be ready? Uh, we'll give him every, opportunity and as I said earlier in the week on Channel 7 that um, we've got an eight day break so uh, we'll give him every opportunity. Uh, he's improving every day um, and it's probably going to come down to the line so um, yeah I haven't got a definite answer for you yet but yeah we'll give him every opportunity we can. Would you take him anyway and just in case? Or would you well we'd have to see if he's looking like he's better than you know an even chance would would take him and give him to the siren to prove his fitness. Clearly, an important player to us. And um, but if it's looking unlikely, we'll probably leave him at home. Is there a concern that he felt that he was right to go back out on the ground on the weekend and then straight away was was forced off the field again? I probably just showed that it wasn't overly serious. Um, yeah, and then you know once he got out there, it just felt like he couldn't go, and you know, clearly it got worse. So it's just no point risking him. Um, and in the conditions we were able to um, cover him, given it wasn't an intercept marking day um, in, the, in the slippery conditions. So um, to have a you know, fresh player on, on the ground, oh, on, the, on the bench and me, as a medical sub and have, have him limping around, possibly doing more damage, just yeah, made the decision pretty easy. Did you break your connect? Yeah, he's got to get through training, but all signs are that he will and be right to play. Is there any other concerns about you know, things have flared up over the, the surface issues recently. Is that Adam Chair of uh, No, Ches and Aishi were both a little bit sore going into the game on the weekend and um, got, both got through really well um, and will train today and look to be over those, those hurdles. So, yeah, hopefully it settled, has, has settled down. In having it doesn't get up, Justin, have you, have you got a contingency to try and keep that tall structure in the forward line or would you...? Yeah, well, there's, a, there's a few options. We obviously brought Tracy in last week, um, and I thought he um, gave us a good contest when he needed to for the ball. Uh, we might rely on him for more game time and just bring Brayshaw in. But yeah, there is an opportunity to play two rucks and yeah, see if we can keep that talk structure ahead of the ball. So got a few things to work through, um, and we won't know until we get the all clear on tabs or not. So um, make those decisions probably more this afternoon than right now. How's that with Pierce got? Uh, good, yep. Uh, so he got good, renew uh, good news on that ankle. Uh, looks like he's just got some irritation really where the screws are in that ankle. So uh, he trained yesterday to give him a little bit more time to recover, to play at Peel this week. And um, he's going to have to put up with a little bit of pain and, and get, through, get through that knowing that it's not going to do him any further damage. So uh, it's, good. it's a good result. So Vinay, another setback for Luke Valenti. Uh, no, no, no. What do you ask? Uh, spotted sort of limping off the track. Oh, right. No, no, it's just general soreness. And um, no, he should be right to go. Yep. Josh Tracy, just looking at him out there, he, he's obviously <coughs> you were happy with his game. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought, um, yeah, he improved his contest as his game went on. 
uh, had a big moment in the last quarter, but it also created another few opportunities that, you know, down the track, um, as he gets more AFL footy into him, he, he, he will take. So, yeah, I thought it was a good game to build off. I was listening to Caleb talk about uh, poking the bear at half time, poking Buddy at half time and ripping his jumper and, and, he, and Griff was not very happy about that. What did, what did you think of this? Oh, I think there might have been a bit of sarcasm there from Caleb. Um, yeah, Buddy didn't have an influence in the third quarter. Obviously, last quarter he, he um, got going um, and nearly won him the game. I, I just thought, um, I thought I was really happy with the way our players stood up for each other. Um, our buddy came over and had a few words with Fifey and gave him a bit of a nudge and our players piled in and um, you know, had the back of their captain. So uh, I think that's a good sign. If the Victorian situation worsens, would you welcome a couple of those clubs here to WA considering the travel you guys did last year? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Optus, Optus Stadium is a great stadium to play footy and probably should move the AFL here for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> How do you rate Port Adelaide's recent form? Uh, it's probably been a little bit up and down, um, but their best is up there with the best in the comp. Um, yeah, so at home, I think they've played some really strong footy. You know, they clearly get the crowd behind them, and uh, we need to make sure that you know, we're on from the first bounce and um, yeah, bring our best. Do you reckon what, it's been the result the key, Justin, to, to Sean Darcy's form? Uh, continuity, uh, that's number one, um, which has allowed him to build week on week. But um, the amount of work he's done behind the scenes to uh, work on all areas of his game, he's, um, I don't think there's anyone that's done more extras in the last three months, that, or since he got injured in the pre-season than, than Sean. It's been, um, you know, every time I get here at seven o'clock, he's here already doing work with Joel Corey. Um, yeah, and that's bearing fruit on, on the field. So um, yeah, continuity and, and the amount of work he's putting in. And if you went back to that two-ruck structure, would it be Sean playing more forward like he, he did really well earlier in the season? Well, yeah, it was something we've got to weigh up because Sean's dominance around ruck contests and stoppage is, is giving us first look as a midfield group. So, yeah, we just need to weigh up what that looks like and the, yeah, and the, and the flow-on effects, I suppose. Does the result against the Crows earlier in the year provide you with anything going into this game? Yeah, I think so. Yep, oh, it's, a, it's a ground uh, we played well at. Players have good memories from it. Um, really strong second half in that game in particular and uh, we defended the ground really well. So yeah, I think our players um, will go back there without any demons in their head and yeah, it, it, I think yeah, going back to a ground that you've had a good performance at um, is, yeah, helps. John, short story a little bit in recent weeks, like no crowds, um, obviously, round four and uh, since round four wet weather for a couple of games as well how much of a blow would it be if next Sunday's clash against um, Western Bulldogs can't go ahead here or without crowds because of the hard border or anything like that yeah I haven't really thought that far ahead and that's a that's the thing you can get caught up in a little bit is a, you know f forecasting and losing focus on what's important so we just worry about Port Adelaide at this stage before we start worrying about the Bulldogs um, and trust the AFL to get all that stuff right behind the scenes. Um, yeah, because you're right, um, we have copped our share early in the season, so yeah, we'll just see how that pans out. And the scans from that last grumpy foot came back all clear? Yeah, it came back, oh, not all clear, because he's got some pain there, but no serious damage, and it's something they'll be able to work through. So you'll have to manage that throughout the rest of the year, or is it a short-term thing? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to manage it for a month or so. Um, yeah, and he's used to managing things. Um, yeah, so I expect him to um, handle it really well. Collingwood got the jump on Port last week and were in front for quite a bit of the first half. Did you take anything from that where you said you might be able to exploit them? Uh, really, it was just on the back of um, their contest and, and some really good forward half defence. So it's two aspects of our game that I think we do well and we'll need to bring again. Just on Conco as well, has he done enough to put himself back in the selection frame? Uh, no, probably not. Probably not. Um, not after the weekend's game. Uh, he's, he's got a few things he needs to work on and he'll continue to work, chip away at those at waffle level.